look at this baby. Oh, I want a baby. That has to be so amazing to create a life, you know? Raise it up and take care of this little person. Stop being all about me and be responsible for someone else for a change. Oh, I want a cell phone. Whichever it is, you'll just leave it on the bus. <laughs> On Fifth Avenue, I saw a monkey. And just now, I saw it again on Houston. How do you know it was the same one? Oh, my God, you're right. You're right. There could be hundreds, even thousands, here to, to steal our food, take our women. This is so weird. My girlfriend, Jenny, just canceled dinner, and she didn't even give me a reason. Did you ask her if there was a monkey in the room? And so it begins. Richard... What are you doing tonight? Yeah, the same thing I do on the 4th of every month. I go to the newsstand, pick up the new Inuit Review, the Journal of Native Alaskan Poetry, which uh, Ahmed is kind enough to set aside for me. Then I go to a little out-of-the-way bistro on 9th Street where I savor a glass of Beaujolais, the pain of a dying culture, and the emptiness of the endless night. Just one question. Ahmed actually has to set that aside for you? <laughs> Morning. Coffee. Annie. Tramp. <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were doing ward associations. Annie, you want to go out to dinner tonight? Oh, I can't. This chick I went to high school with is coming to town. Oh, well, we can all go together then. No. You do not want to be out with this woman. Cassandra Thompson. In school, we called her Crazy Cassie. Oh. Kids can be so cruel. It was the nuns. <laughs> That yeah, was really weird, you know. She'd go out with a guy, and if he tried anything on her, she'd, like, set fire to his locker or his car or something. Really? Well, all I'm saying is, in art class one time, I had paint spilled on my hands, and she was the only one with kerosene in her purse to get it off. Mm. Well, how long is she staying? She is not staying. She's just coming for the day. She wants to see me in caps. So she's not just an arsonist. She's also a masochist. <laughs> Why don't you take her out, Richard? You two would be so perfect. She's a pyromaniac. You're a wet blanket. Well, I guess I can defrost this for dinner. What is it? I had no idea it was here when I moved in. If you want to go to a restaurant, why don't you go to a restaurant? You mean alone? No. Well, why not? Oh, God, that's so sad. My Aunt Flo does that. She gets a table by herself orders the early bird special and writes love letters to Jack Lord. Oh, eating alone is wonderful. You can uh, enjoy your meal, people watch, get inspiration for your work, and you don't have to pretend to be interested when someone's prattling on about their cat's birthday. I did not prattle on. I just said it was sad that her birthday was so close to Christmas. Caroline, look, if you're 30 years old, you've never eaten out by yourself. Maybe, just maybe, it's time you give it a shot. You know what? You're right. Maybe it is. See you next July. Good for you. Tonight, I'm going to a restaurant alone. Wonderful. Where I'm going to eat dinner alone. Go, girl. <laughs> and then maybe have an allergic reaction and die in the street alone. Get buried in the snow until spring. No one finds my body alone. And no one comes to my funeral. I'll come. <laughs> Can I bring someone? Hi, I'm uh, Caroline Duffy. Um, 
I, I'd like a table alone, please. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to dine alone. Actually, I think my friend Richard's here, but I don't want to sit with him because, um, you know, I think we should just be alone but separate and... Um... I don't even know her. <laughs> Can I help you? Oh, um, do you work here? No, I've been holding this for four years. I'm trying to get into the Guinness Book of World Records. See, that's a really fun accent. Are you from, uh... Just follow. Wow, now it's less fun. Caroline. Oh, Richard. What are you doing here? Look, I know what you're thinking, but I am not here to have dinner with you. I'm gonna have dinner at my own table with my own thoughts and look. I even got my own copy of the Inuit thingy. Oh, yeah, look at that. And it comes with its very own copy of People magazine. Ahmed must have thrown that in. So you just uh, chose this restaurant at random? No, no, I always eat at, uh, uh, Mange. It's Manger. It's French, Caroline. Oh, come on. Don't give me that Richard face. You just sit here and enjoy your Alaskan poetry, and I'll go read about uh, how Debbie Reynolds lost all her money. <laughs> Girls gotta eat. <laughs> Barrymore's and get tanked. Yeah, I'll try to catch up with you. I gotta ditch that chick from out of town. Oh, what, the firebug? Yeah. Cassandra Thompson to see Annie Spadaro, please. Ugh. Oh, okay, go hide behind the piano, and I'll tell her you left. Do not lady me, mister, and if you even try to touch me, I'll slap you from here to lay Miz, I swear to God. <laughs> Where's Annie Spadaro? Right there. <laughs> Annie Cassandra! Hi! How are you? I'm fine. God, you look Great. Yeah, well, it helps to take a year off. <laughs> yeah, I heard you were uh, away. Oh. It's okay, Annie, you can say it. I, I spent some time in a resort. <laughs> Just, Andrew, there's no smoking backstage. Sorry. Well, what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> Go ahead, smoke. It's okay. <laughs> so, did you enjoy the show? Oh, there was this jerk who draped his coat over the back of his seat so he could touch my leg. So I pulled a couple of hairs out of his arm, just as a warning. And he made this huge scene about it, so someone called security, and guess who they took to their little office? Not him, I can promise you that. And I kept saying, I am a guest of Annie Spadaro. Annie Spadaro is in the cast of this show. I must have told everyone in the theater I was with you. Good, thanks. So... I didn't get to see much of the show, but I bet you were fabulous. Uh, Where do you want to go to dinner? Dinner? Oh, I forgot. You know, I, I have to go to bed. I have to get up early to watch Brian Gumble on the Today Show. His last appearance. But that was weeks ago. Yeah, mm, I taped it. Well, let's watch it together. Together? No. It's too personal. <laughs> Annie. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> Okay, Willie. Oh, great. I'll go get us a cab. Write down when I left. It may help establish my time of death. <laughs> uh, what can I get you to drink? Oh, you know, I'd love some Merlot. What do you have by the glass? Let's see. That would be the napkin, the knife, and the spoon. <laughs> Good, a funny waiter. We don't have a Merlot by the glass. Excuse me. Uh, would you like to share a bottle of wine, my treat? <laughs> you know, that's a really, really interesting nose ring. Is it Onyx? <laughs> oh my God, it's a mole. I am so sorry. <laughs> You know, but uh, it's very interesting. She is still very attractive. <laughs> is this your first date? Or, um... <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you a guy? <laughs> Here, drink this. Maybe you'll pass out. <laughs> I guess I'll just read... <laughs> Another 
glass of water, please? Certainly, ma'am. Will there be anything else? A swarm of locusts, perhaps? Well, actually, I'd like the um, gorgonzola watercress salad, but just a small salad, please. We don't serve small salads. Well, he's having one. He's a regular customer. Well, what if I became a regular customer? I'd move back to Florida. <laughs> Richard? Richard? Would you like to split a salad? If it'll keep you quiet, yes. Okay, but no balsamic vinegar on mine. And, oh, could you put some walnuts on mine? Oh, but uh, leave the walnuts off of my half. Oh, that's right. He's allergic. How do you know that? Well, you know, when you talk, I listen. Yeah, I listen to the important things. Oh, okay. Well, when's my cat's birthday, huh? No, that, that's it. You come over here. Put the napkin in your lap. Straighten yourself up and behave yourself or there'll be no dessert. I'm telling you, Del, there's monkeys all over the city. They're like those alligators in the sewers or those albinos in the park. Those are mines, Charlie. <laughs> so you're buying the official story? Don't laugh at him, say, Del, Del. If he's right, you know the monkeys will make him their king. Oh, Annie, this place is wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I like it, too. They take credit cards, and there's a fire hydrant right up front. <laughs> oh, look at her. It's Annie. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> well, hi there. <laughs> Annie, who's your friend? No one go away. Annie, chasing away handsome men will just shame on you. <laughs> oh, Del Cassidy, you know, it's so good to finally meet you in person because I've been dreaming about you my whole life. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad you didn't meet before Del got married. Del's married, aren't you, Del? And you would be nuts to leave her. She's crazy about you. Annie, can I talk to you for a minute over here? What are you doing? She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. No wedding ring. Why can't you hook me up? She's crazy. All the best-looking women are crazy. Jeez. I date this one woman. She inhales helium balloons, calls me in the middle of the night. Be sexy. What are you wearing? I date this other woman. She wants me to throw lemons at her stomach. But I do it. You know why? She's got a butt you can bounce a dime off of. Don't, you don't understand. No, no, I think I do understand. She's blonde, she's pretty. She always gets the A-list guys. You're feeling left out. Wow, Del. You really are perceptive. Yeah. What can I say? I apologize for standing in your way. Excuse me, orderly. I, I mean, waiter. She's all yours. I'm back. And I missed you. <laughs> well, Richard, we're going out to dinner at a restaurant alone for the first time. It didn't go so badly. Caroline, you sat at a table with me, you ate a meal with me, you drank wine with me. The only thing you did alone was go to the ladies' room. Well, not even that. The door in the stall wouldn't lock. <laughs> Richard, Richard, look! Oh, what? Look what's playing. A man and a woman. I love this movie. You want to go see it? Oh, I hate love stories about French couples. It raises the possibility that there'll be more French people. Oh, Richard, it's only really Please, I really, really want to see it. My God, you can't even go to a movie alone, can you? Well, yes, I can. I, I just don't want to. When's the last time you went to a movie alone? You know what, Richard? We've been working together a year and a half, and it's like pulling teeth, just trying to get you to go to a movie or dinner or anything with me. I thought, I thought maybe we were friends. Okay, okay, I'll go, I'll go. I mean, you're obviously a hopeless case. Hey, you know what? Don't do me any favors. You go home, you have fun all alone, all by yourself, okay? Okay, I will. Fine. Fine. Great. Great. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. So you're really not going to go home? <laughs> Now that's strange. I mean, this was a fall just this morning. Monkeys. <laughs> Excuse me. Monkeys love their complimentary cocktail peanuts. <laughs> you're not still on this, are you? Look, don't tell me it can't happen. Rima, look, you're from Italy. Wasn't mm. there a certain powerful organization that lived among you that answered to its own laws? Yes. 
the Catholic Church. Where'd Cassie and Del go? They left. They left together? Well, yeah. You know uh, Senor Del? Yeah, I do, which is why I figured he'd never get anywhere. <laughs> Charlie, she's psycho. Go call him. Call him? Hello, hey. Penny. Penny, how, da how dangerous is this woman? Well, she's not homicidal, ah. according to 12 people who couldn't get out of jury duty. I got the machine. Yeah, don't sleep with her. She's a crazy woman. <laughs> right? Yeah, great, Charlie. Now we have to get there before she hears it. Oh, the monkeys are on our side. They can help us. <laughs> Is this seat taken? No. How about that one? Uh, no. Well, move and let two seats be together. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm, you know, I, I just came to the movies alone because my friend canceled on me, and I figured it's a great movie. Why not go see it alone? I mean, there's nothing wrong with seeing a movie. Hey, alone. hey, we came to see that story, not yours. Excuse me, are you with these people? No, I just came to the movie alone because my girlfriend canceled on me. And just move. They want three seats together. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's good. But go back to the restaurant when you were eating. The veal was like a wine sauce or a cream sauce. A cream sauce. Oh. So did you uh, spill any of it on yourself? Excuse me, are those seats taken? No. What? She said they're not taken. How do you know? She's alone. No one's coming? No. Yeah, she's by herself. Hey, yeah, I right found too. This woman's all by herself. That's right, Ed. I'm completely alone. Ladies and gentlemen... I, Caroline Duffy, am at the movies 100% completely alone. Big surprise. <laughs> okay, okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Is this his building? Yeah, I'll take the back stairs. Why? It's what they do in the movies. <laughs> Annie. Del. What are you doing here? Listen, there is something you really need to know about Cassandra. Oh, is it that she's a nut? <laughs> Why? What happened? I'm not really sure. I had her up to my place for a drink, and when I told her I didn't have any tonic, she accused me of playing a mind game with her. So, you know, I figure she probably has a period because I've become very sensitive to those things. Yeah, you're amazing in that one. So anyway, I offered her some club soda, and she said I was trying to control her, and that she could never have a relationship with such a domineering person. Uh, Del, I told you she was crazy. Yeah, but I thought you meant in the good sense, like she was needy, and I might get lucky on the first date. See? What's your problem if you kept your brain inside your zipper for once? Well, hey, what am I supposed to do? I can't help it. Women find me attractive. <laughs> yeah? Is that what they do? Come on, you've seen it. You're a woman. Don't you find me attractive? No. <laughs> no, I am. <laughs> My mistake. Look, I'm really sorry. I never should have let it get this far. Now, tomorrow I've got to find Cassandra and see if she's okay. Well, see her now if you want. Well, what are you talking about? Well, she went out on the balcony to have a smoke. I figured I'd give her some time to cool off. You left her up there? Yeah. With a lit cigarette? Why? <laughs> uh, oh, Richard. What are you doing here? Waiting to... Uh... See if you wanted to go get some coffee. Oh, you mean like with a friend? <laughs> Off the clock, yeah. Okay. So, uh, you did it, huh? You sat through a movie by yourself. Yep. How was it? Well, it wasn't so bad. I mean, it's a little rocky at first, but uh, then I got comfortable, and you're right. Being alone isn't so terrible. So, we'll meet you here next week, Caroline? Spartacus. <laughs> hey, Dick. See you later, Caroline. I'll send you that article for your cat. Bye, Terry. Bye, Ed. Take care, Caroline. Hey, Ernie, remember what I said. I know, I know. Power walk, 20 minutes a day. <laughs> All alone, huh? They started it. I couldn't be rude. <laughs> the fire 
on East 82nd Street is out now. God, that's Dell's neighborhood. Look. Miraculously, no one was injured as firefighters quickly contained the blaze. Investigators still don't know what started the fire, but some New Yorkers have their own ideas. It's the monkeys. The monkeys did it. <laughs>